This VX2 endometrial cancer model with retroperitoneal lymph node metastases can be used to study technology for image-guided surgery. The main advantages of this technique are that it is reliable, simple, and that it creates consistent metastatic path, which has mimics the pattern of human endometrial cancer. Overall, this is a simple technique. However, practicing the suturing prior to attempting to create the model will help to make the process easier. Visual demonstration of this technique is important as it helps to demonstrate the surgical steps involved in model establishment. Demonstrating the procedure with Harley Chan and I will be Li Li Jing, a technician from our laboratory. To prepare in vitro propagated VX2 cells for injection, begin by warming frozen vials of VX2 cells in a 37 degrees Celsius bead or water bath for one minute. When the cells have thawed, pool the cell suspensions in a 15 milliliter tube containing 10 milliliters of culture medium. Sediment the cells by centrifugation. Resuspend the pellet in 9 milliliters of medium. Transfer the cells to a large culture flask for incubation at 37 degrees Celsius without shaking, checking the cells daily for confluence by light microscopy. When the cells have reached 80% confluency, add 3 milliliters of 0.25% trypsin to the flask and return the cells to the cell culture incubator for 5 minutes. When the cells have detached, transfer the cell suspension.